Hi, it's Sarah with House Copper. Today we are going to do a very short tutorial on tinning. Um, I have some small pieces, some souffle cups that um, I can't actually fit my hand into. The diameter is too small. Um, and so sometimes you're gonna be tinning pieces that are really tiny and there's really no way to get in there other than using tools to do so. And actually the way that we're gonna do this is um, kind of an old fashioned way of tinning with wads with sal ammoniac um, that they used to do. We're not gonna use sal ammoniac, but um, what I am going to recommend that you find is non flammable things. So I have um, a welding blanket um, this is the, the packet for it. Any um, welding blanket will do. Um, it's basically to kind of be, it's made out of insulation, which is what I use when I'm tinning, which is non-flammable, so it shouldn't catch fire, at least not easily. Um, it looks like this. And you just cut a strip that will go around the diameter of the piece that you're working on, and as well as have excess so that you can clamp it really tight and hold that while you're tinning it and you can maneuver it. It's essentially trying to create um, something that will go around the piece that will not scratch the copper exterior, but will kind of make a handle, because these pieces don't have handles, um, that will kind of make a handle. If you have a small piece that does have a handle, great, but we're gonna kind of try and do both things at once with um, this particular video. Um, so here we go with tinning a really small, all right, so I have my fire. I know you're not gonna be able to see much of me, but this is the best we can do. All things considered, you're gonna have a really small piece of solder. As you can see, it's super tiny. And my pieces are three millimeters thick, so um, they're gonna be, they're gonna take a little bit to heat up. And what I've also done is They are slightly covered on the outside with uh, drywall dust mixed with water to make a paste. So I'm gonna let that heat up. In the meantime, you get like a, some sort of a clamp. I use, uh, Bob taught me to use scissors like what a doctor uses, like a, like a surgical piece. And then you're gonna use your wadding. I use pink housing and insulation, like the cheap stuff you can get at any Home Depot or anything like that. And then you have your strip of, um, your strip of your welding blanket that you've cut, right? the comments below so if you want to know what flux I use and you want to know all that stuff it's in the comments like where I get my tin and everything like that so it's still not super hot because it does take like a hot minute oh, come on. every string on this blanket I should sew it but I know by the time I sew it I'll have to replace it If your piece has a handle, um, you don't have to clamp it, but now you're getting to see how you clamp too. So it's clamped, it's ready to go. I'm just waiting for the solder to melt. It should be any moment now. Okay. 
So I'm going to use the wadding to go in there. And it's essentially wiping everywhere I can and the edges are gonna be the hardest off any excess and voila you have a tiny tinned piece okay so I hope that that helped uh, show you some ways of tinning smaller pieces uh, whether or not they have handles um, you use the wadding you use a couple of clamps and you're set to go um, as always the materials I use and where I find them are in the comments below um, if you have any thoughts, questions, comments, ideas of your own, please share them. This is meant to be a forum of um, sharing this kind of information since it's one of the few places where we are discussing this particular trade and uh, skill set. So if you um, want to find me, as always, at House Copper on Instagram, House Copper and Cooper on Facebook, you can pick up Copper, Iron, and Clay, my book with Harper Collins, anywhere books are sold and um yeah um thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time